Welcome to Lessons in Life and Love with Rihanna Milne, where we show you how to have the positive mindset for success in all life areas so you can grow beyond difficult transitions and evolve from those challenging moments that may have influenced your past but will not define your future. It's time to have the life you desire and the love you deserve as we teach you the exact skills needed to attract and keep a lasting, emotionally healthy and conscious relationship. Now, please welcome your host, certified life dating and relationship coach, trauma professional, and best-selling author, Rihanna Milne. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Season 2, Show 42 of Lessons of Life and Love podcast. I am your host and life and love coach, Rihanna Milne, coming to you every Friday on my website, LessonsInLifeAndLove.com, and on your favorite apps like TuneIn, iTunes, Spotify, Spreaker, iHeart, and Himalaya, and all the other ones out there. Of course, you can always hear the podcast on my free app. It is called Lessons in Life and Love on the go. So be sure to download that in your Google Play or on your iTunes phone. I'm all about helping you transform your life in many areas. So we'll have discussions about parenting, finances, business, spirituality, mindset for success. And of course, we're going to hear many topics about love because you know me, I am on a mad mission to change the way the world loves. So I'm all about helping you to create the life that you desire and to have the love that you deserve. So you'll be learning many tips about how to have an emotionally healthy, conscious, evolved, and amazing love relationship, as well as how to avoid toxic, damaging, emotionally abusive relationships, which are too prevalent in today's world. So you'll meet volunteers from my fan base that would like to have free laser coaching and a topic that is concerning to them. And also it usually concerns many of the listeners. You're also going to hear from my graduates, how coaching has helped them in their life and love situation. And I'll have special guests as well as coming on alone from time to time to talk to you about topics that I'm sure that you would enjoy that would also help improve your way of life and love. If you have any personal concerns, do reach out to meet with me during the week for your private life and love transformation discovery session right on my website, rihannamilm.com. Okay, angels and love transformers, we are ready to begin today's show. We have a very special guest, one of my graduates, Ola Carlin, joining us today. <laughs> Hi, Ola, how are you? I am good. How are you, Rihanna? Very good. It's so good to see you. And I want to welcome you to our show and to our listeners. This is Olia Carlin, one of my favorites. I have so many favorites, I have to say, but I love, love working with Olia. What a transformation she has made in her coaching. She was a VIP Diamond graduate of mine, and we were just talking about that. Uh, I remember when she reached out to me, it was during Hurricane Irma here in Florida. I'm running around in my shorts and a ponytail, and she was so distraught. I'm like, I have to help this woman right now. I said, if you don't mind, I'm going to meet with you, but if the electricity goes off, I may not be able to talk to you for another three days, so I wanted to make sure I could help her. No matter where I was, I just stopped because I just knew this, this girl needed me. And I was so glad to make that connection, and you've just come so far. So that's my end of the story. And Olya, I'd love for you to share with the listeners what made you pick up the phone to call me. Oh my gosh, Rihanna, thank you so much for your beautiful introduction. And thank you for making the call during the hurricane and <laughs> helping me out. You know, like the day that I called you, I was... I remember I just, you know, I felt so down. I felt so depressed. I was away from my family at a business conference and I could not focus on my work because I was just depressed. I was down and I just needed help because I was so desperately unhappy. And, you know, person that solves problems and I just couldn't believe that I couldn't solve my own problem. <laughs> and you called me during the hurricane and you stayed on the phone with me listening 
really connecting with me, like probably for two hours. Mm -hmm. And it was life changing. Aww. And I remember when you like kind of went through the program, like all the different options, I was like, diamond, diamond, diamond. <laughs> I want this woman to help me. Yes. And I'm so glad. I mean, the studies show in trauma that if you can possibly work with your trauma coach for six months, it is ideal because you, if it's shorter, I mean, you just get going on your momentum and you're looking to be single at that time. So if you were going to go out and date, I know you had a lot of fears about that, going back out to date again. And if you'd like, you can share some of the dynamics of where you were. But I do remember, didn't you just hear a podcast of mine or something, or I was on an interview, um, a relationship summit perhaps. And then you yes. said, oh my gosh, I have to meet with her. I think yes. that's how you found out about me. Exactly. And okay. it's so, it's just like, it's such divine intervention because I'm a health coach. So I listen to podcasts all the time, but I was so tired of just listening to podcasts and not taking enough action. So I felt like I was learning, 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 and then I was just not doing anything about it. So I was like enough of the podcasts. Mm -hmm. so I was off the podcast for probably like six months or something. And that day I just got an email in my inbox and the subject line was about like, you know, like the childhood abuse, like, you know, like all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just knew that I had to join that podcast. And like I mentioned, I was at a business conference. I walked, listened to the conference, like to the podcast life. Uh -huh. I immediately filled out your form and you called me like 15 minutes later. Yeah. Now, to for our listeners who don't know, Olya came to the United States as an immigrant at age 18 from Russia. So that was a big transition in her life to begin with, which is pretty scary for anyone at any age. And she was alone. So Olya, from there, how does your journey begin with love? Like when I came to the United States? At yeah. Age? Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, first of all, I didn't speak the language. Right. And I started dating this, like I remember the first guy, you know, like I thought he was like this big shot and with my limited English, you know, um, I started dating him and later I found out he was the biggest liar in the world. And, you know, due to my not enough knowing about the country itself. Yeah. Well, it's so much to learn all at one time, but he, he probably zeroed right in on your being naive and not too educated at that point. There's so much to learn, not even the, the language barrier, but just the customs and the way of being, you know, for a whole new country. That's, that's a lot to take on. Yes. And from then on, you know, things were just like a bit crazy. So as a part of the program, you helped me change the story I created about mm -hmm. love and relationships. So because I had like all these horrible memories, you know, yeah. and you helped me actually bring back the good memories and rewrite the story. So I didn't feel like I was unlovable or victim. Right or whatever, you know, it's just all part of the journey and it had to happen for me to finally be where I am now. Yeah, you had a rough road uh, back in Russia. You had a very tough life there and you came to America for a new chance. Now, let's, uh, let's go into within a half hour how your life has totally changed. So what were some of the emotions when you finally decided, I'm doing this, I'm signing up for coaching? Were you afraid? Were you excited? Were you nervous? A little bit of all of that. Oh my gosh. I mean, I was of course like crazy excited, you know, because like, you know, I am a very like in you know, a positive person. I, you know, have faith, I have hope. And I was just like, mm -hmm. definitely like very, very excited. That's my personality and hopeful. But at the same time, like the other voice inside of me was telling me, well, you've tried so many other different things. How is it going to be any different? why is it going to work? So there was a lot of doubt, you right. know, and like, you know, a lot of negative self-talk. And uh, so I just kind of like had to jump into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's true. Everyone that comes to me due to the conditioning that we had as children to think more negative than positive. 
almost everyone, and this is the, the result of childhood trauma, so I'm very comfortable and almost expecting this to happen, that people come with high anxiety, bouts of depression, fear-based negative thoughts, um, scared to take risks, you know, and this is part of the childhood trauma that happened to you. So the whole program I described like a rainbow. You're starting on the left side where you don't know what you don't know and you don't know how to feel better. And as you're learning from the coaching, the workbooks and the books and our interaction, as you share with me, I can coach you back. That's just kind of how it works. It's very personalized and very one-on-one. -on -one. But as Olya shared with me, her story, like she said, we were able to change her mindset around all of that. And yet, although we did not distort the facts, we had the facts, but people stay stuck in their pain and their negativity normally. That is normal human behavior. So instead, we had to find the positive and teach her the rest that she never learned. And most of us, even in the U.S., don't learn how to love properly, what to look for in an emotionally healthy person. I wasn't taught that by my parents. I wasn't even taught that in my master's program in psychology. You would have thought that would have been a great thing for us therapists to learn, but they did not teach us those things. That would have been very practical for our clients. So that research came on my own. But it's, it's a rainbow process. So as she's learning, she might have slipped a couple times, you know, in fear-based thinking, which happens to almost every client. And then we get her over that. And when she's on the other side and total conscious understanding and awareness, then that's how she continues to live her life. You know, so that's what's really interesting about it. So once you learn that uh, how to get beyond your past childhood and love trauma that impacted you, um, did that make a difference in your life? And in what ways do you want to share with our listeners? It made a huge difference. Mm -hmm. And the very first thing that happened is that I was able to take it easy on myself. Mm -hmm. You were hard on yourself. I was hard on myself. Mm -hmm. Second thing is that I was able to establish a new adult relationship with my father because I no longer judged him for the way he loved me. Mm -hmm. And I no longer doubted that he loved me and I no longer needed his approval or whatever, yes. you know, yes. so that created so much emotional freedom for me that I was able to get out of like this very negative victim mind mm -hmm. and I was able to become a more compassionate human being. And beautifully said, beautifully said. Yeah, I love that. And even with your, your son. Yes, absolutely. You know, like with my son, um, just, you know, more patience, more love. And, you know, when I came to you, my biggest fear was that my son, because he could not understand why me and his dad were splitting up, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, he knew things as they were, and it worked for him that mom was this way, dad was this way, the relationship and the family was this way, but I definitely did not want him to assume that a crying mother <laughs> every single day was okay and normal. Right. Yeah. So that's why I knew that something had to change. Yes. And that's, that's when she had come to me and I was really, really worried about her child also then adopting childhood trauma. Because as we know, it does go through the generations and until you stop the patterns for yourself, then you can teach your child a different way. So I know you all, you're teaching your son positive conscious mindset and awareness and all these skills that you learn when you teach your kids they become so successful and loving and beautiful adults. Um, and it's really, really great to see. So I'm glad we got you and your son when he still quite, was young. I think six years old is what, how old he was when you signed up. And uh, I think that was really, really wonderful for you to even take that leap of faith for him as well as yourself. Yeah. And that was something we were talking about. So what did you do differently 
uh, with dating after your educational coaching with love? Okay, so first of all, like I remember we were doing this exercise with you during our coaching where we had to go deep into my need, mm -hmm. like emotional needs, functional needs, physical needs. I was like, Brianna, how am I ever going to find somebody if I'm going to be like so picky about things? But it wasn't picky. It was, it was like, really, you helped me get like such amazing clarity about who am I? Mm -hmm. What do I really need? And because it was very easy for me before to get stressed and panicked and flee the relationship, you know, or threaten to flee the relationship or whatever, if something was not going right, with your help, I was able to figure out, okay, what is not negotiable? Right. What do you have to have for this relationship to work? And what is not that important? So when I started dating again, if I saw the red flags when something mm -hmm. was unnegotiable, I was out. Yep. If, if I saw a sign that was, eh, you know, but I knew it was like real, not that a big of a deal, I did not allow this to cloud my judgment. Good. So that's why I stuck with it and so on and so forth. So that was like really, really big. And um, so it, you know, dating is like a numbers game, right? That's mm -hmm. what you said. And yeah. in the eight months period, until I became exclusive with my boyfriend now, Good. Um, I went through a number of dates. Mm -hmm. Some ended at our conversation over text message or the phone. Some were one daters, yeah. some three daters. Some were like, you know, like a couple of months, whatever. But I was able to end relationships short or long on very good terms. Mm -hmm. That's good. Nothing wrong with you. Not compatible to my needs and not my, my love language. That's beautiful. We have something that we teach, uh, end it in a spiritual way with the three G's. Goodbye, good luck, and God bless. And it's okay if you feel someone's just not quite a match for you. You know, eventually that comes out within, you know, two to four months. Uh, you can always find when you're spiritual something wonderful in everyone that you meet, right? So the first couple of dates are really great, but sometimes it takes a little time to really see if you're lining up and your values match, your spirituality matches, your direction you're going in life, your degree of altruism, uh, what your business goals are, what their goals are, and do they match in, in business or in life? And that takes some time. So, you know, some people can't figure that out right away, but also with the ammunition of what we want to avoid, that can be seen really easily on the first date. You know, we call that a one and done. When we ask a few questions that my clients learn to ask, on the first or second date, you can sometimes tell on that first date, nope, not for me. You know? <laughs> and then others you can tell maybe by the third date or the fourth date. And then some you need to invest a little bit more time, two to four months to see if it's really going along in that direction. And the beautiful thing around uh, Ola's six month program is we got her out dating, I think it was about month four, and you had met a couple people you liked right away. And I said, mm, let's just keep going, give you a little bit more time. It doesn't mean you have to be exclusive to this one person right away. Keep dating. And then what, how did you meet your current partner? And then how did you know the difference that he was the one? Well, so um, first of all, I learned through our program that love was not just chemistry. Mm -hmm. And yeah. <laughs> I knew to my childhood and to my experience, I associated love with highs and lows of chemistry. Mm -hmm. And now I knew that was not what I needed long term to heal my childhood wound. I needed a very secure partner and I knew how I needed to feel on the inside. So I met my current partner, um, match.com. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know? good. Okay. 
that was like super awesome because remember like i did not even want to date you did not want to go on those online pl platforms i forced you i, I admit that <laughs> you're like ole you're feeling this out <laughs> pushing the button and you are getting out there yes it's I want you to do it while we're still working together and I'm going to help you. So I was like, okay, Rihanna, I guess I'm going to do it. So, um, you did have fun with it. Initially, you're a little scared, but then once you got started, it's like, yeah, this is fun. Yes, because like 10, 15, 20 years ago, this did not exist. You know, it's so much more sophisticated now how you can date. Yeah. So I even like this much better. So, so that's how we met. And um, we kind of like, because of the kind of needs that I had and the kind of like quality person that I needed, um, you know, so my um, boyfriend was, you know, he's like of that level of a person. So he was not hey, highly available and ready to jump into anything crazy right away either, you know? Mm -hmm. So it took us probably a good eight months of literally just kind of like, talking and having a date here a date there you know like he's a busy person and i'm building my business yeah and um so then around like a little bit before christmas time of 2018 um i remember at this point and we've had two really good dates and every single time we would meet after the date i would just kind of like examine how do i feel mm -hmm. And I just felt good. Like I felt peaceful. That's I good. Happy. I felt very much like whole, mm -hmm. you know? And because at that point already, so much time has gone by and I was able to check off all the needs and wants and kind of like figure everything out. And watch out. for those red flags. They, the, the clients, my clients get 36 red flags to be watching for. So that's good you didn't see any of that. So I did all of that. So by then I was able to relax and allow myself to feel the chemistry, like literally. Mm -hmm allowed myself to feel the chemistry and I remember he took me uh, like to this amazing dinner at Amstead restaurant in Raleigh which was like you know seven course whatever nice. and we were for four hours and we had so much fun we were just like laughing and exchanging jokes and absolutely loving this fancy food and it was just like such a bliss like literally after that evening i was like oh my gosh that's it and then a couple weeks later when he completely opened to me like like emotionally and spiritually and really allowed me to see what probably nobody else ever gets to see mm -hmm. and it matched my inner world my spirituality like i never knew was even possible i was like Great. all doubts gone absolutely and i love that you took it slow and really got to know each other's friends first because that is you know so many people today want to rush so quickly to sexuality and that's not the way to build a long lasting relationship because how the man is driven for sexual encounters most of the time after that that's all they want and they they kind of just forego that meeting process and really getting to know you and the deeper core level you know so you really did take your time and that was great what were some of the qualities that you really liked what were some of the things that he matched for you oh my gosh um so he some, some of the qualities it was definitely like you know i needed to be able to love you mm -hmm. know really have fun yet to be able to have a very intelligent and smart conversation yes conversation is very important it's the family, connection a family person you mm -hmm. know and um and he raised two amazing sons who is one is now a scientist and oh, great. A landscape architect, amazing human beings. So his values about the family were amazing. Good. And, um, you know, like money, you and I talked about, you know, mm -hmm. it's not about like, you know, how much money you have, but how do you manage the money that you have? Yes. 
that was a great quality, you know, because I knew that he was not overspender and he was not cheap. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are just a few qualities. Yeah, beautiful. And that you could trust him. He's honorable, integrity, doing the right things when nobody's looking. Those yeah. are always high on that list. No addictions or other issues. You know, so we, we name a good list. I think it's about 15 qualities that you really want in that partner. So every time you're dating, you say, does this really match up? And sometimes it's difficult because, like I said, you'll find someone that meets half the list. But then after a while, it starts feeling empty for you. And it's like, nah, this is not quite the one, <laughs> you know, because you have to really feel that they meet almost all of them. I mean, Dr. Phil says if you have 85%, you're pretty lucky. I'd like to see 92, you know, <laughs> um, so that you feel very, very comfortable. So you have learned so much, Olya. What would be some advice that you could give to our listeners? And you know my, my population of coaching clients. I, I coach men, women, straight, LGBT, younger people as young as 16, as old as 75. So what generic uh, dating uh, rules or mindset rules would you have for our listeners? Let's start with dating tips first. Mm, dating tips. Well, to be able to even start dating, you have to like take really good care of yourself, right? Yes. So when I came to you, like, you know, like crying all the time, like <laughs> nervous wreck. The first thing you told me was vitamin therapy, sleep, diet, mm -hmm. you know? So yes. I would call it a dating tip, you know, because like you cannot be a mess mm -hmm. and get out there and expect to have a great time dating. So take care of yourself. Right. Help. As you know? we say it, you have to be a successful single first. Yes. Yes. So that would be my number one tip. I love it. And, um, so then take your time to figure out your needs. So take things slow. Mm -hmm. Go through the process. Figure out exactly when you need, what you need and be willing to make friends. You know? Uh, because when you go out on a date just with the idea that you're looking at a person as a human being and you're looking to make friends really go through this list of needs and all of that you know yes so and um yeah be in charge of your emotions don't let the chemistry take over love it <laughs> because very often you know like when we start feeling this crazy chemistry it blocks the reasoning <laughs> And then it turns into months or a year or years of, you know, like um, heartache, which is hard on your health. So we don't want that. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Yeah, the chemistry ignites the phenylalanine running around in the brain um, and turns the hot spots on. So you do start losing some of your reasoning, your rationale, um, the oxytocin is released, which is the bonding chemis chemical. So you're actually bonding very quickly to someone who really may not be your type if you're not someone who lives with conscious awareness. People that go through my program, they learn to wait as long as they can, uh, really analyzing, asking a lot of questions, seeing if that person is right for them in many ways. Uh, before getting involved and if they're not then they just release them as love in love and hopefully they stay friends and If so, then they keep dating and then eventually the intimacy comes and by the time it comes it just feels right There's no awkwardness. It's not weird. It's just loving friendship. It's real connection Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm feeling now. <laughs> That's great um, What what other parenting or life tips would you have for our listeners because you are a parent you're a mom and Other things that you learned about life that you had used some of these skills and mindset for success skills How has that improved your life? Um, well speaking of parenting can my son right here say <laughs> because he really wants to. <laughs> Hi, handsome. How are you? Oh, my God. He's so cute. Love that white blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, adorable. <laughs> so, uh, oh, my gosh. It pays off big time to be a happy 
human being you know because then your life your business parenting everything just flows naturally and feels amazing right yes so so that's why take care of yourself first be a happy successful single person and when you have like the strength inside of you like follow all the tips for dating and go out there and um and treat your children as little adults because or as real adults because mm -hmm. they listen they observe everything yes they're learning from you every single moment so if you are not taking care of yourself and you're snapping at them and all this stuff you are perfect in their eyes so they will repeat this behavior so really be happy inside of you and I love it share your goodness with the world Thank you, Ola. I love that. Now, you and I also did a lot of business coaching together. You were someone trying to get your health and oils business off the ground, and we brainstormed a lot of things. I helped you with a lot of marketing. I helped you to expand your ideas on not just selling oils, but going further and deeper. Uh, you were also doing yoga. So can you take our listeners through that journey of where you were in business and where you are now? Oh my gosh, you know, everything changed, as you can imagine, because back then I used yoga and essential oils to give myself some peace and because, you know, it kind of like worked for me, this is what I wanted to share with people, you mm -hmm. know, but now that I am so much more grounded and truly healthier and happier, I have a much better understanding of my bigger purpose in life. That's what you taught me. Yes, that's right. Um, you know, live on purpose. So my business from this and trying to sell yoga, sell oils, like out of fear and anxiety that I'm not going to have mm -hmm. enough money. So in, instead of this, I am empowering people to live an abundant, amazing life. And my business now is called Healthy Made Easy because it is simple mm -hmm. if you know what you're doing, but it's not easy for most people. Right, that's true. <laughs> so now I have tools and testing and coaching ability because of my inner self now is so much stronger. I'm able to hold people's hands much better mm -hmm. and make it easy for them. That's great, Oya. And really with the childhood trauma information that you learned, when you see fear or anxiety in one of your clients, I know that you're using the education that you got to help calm their anxiety and teach them to get beyond the, the CTs, which we call them the childhood trauma responses, because you knew how to do it for yourself. Yeah. And in every business, because we know from the research, 90% of adults are somehow impacted in life or love due to childhood trauma. So whenever either you're a coach or a teacher or someone working with adults in some way, and they have this fear-based, limited, negative thinking, when you get this information for yourself and you learn to change that mindset into one based on success, then you have the tools to teach your clients and then they excel better, which makes your business improve. Absolutely. So it's really awesome. I know you didn't come to me for business training, but I know you were panicked about it. Mm -hmm. And I said, let's get over the crises. <laughs> Let you get into a better mode. Let's get you out there dating and then let's work on your business. And that six month was so perfect in timing that we could do all of it and really have you excel in all those areas. So I'm just so proud of you and your journey. Thank you. And I, um, I want, I'm not sure if I shared this with you, but um, when I talked to my accountant about the kind of training that you and I did, mm -hmm. he is a very smart person. You know, he was like, oh, she coached you in business? I was like, yes. You have an LLC? Yes. Well, yes. we can write off <laughs> your life and love coaching as business coaching because you got quality business advice. 
That's right. That's right. A couple of my other clients have done that as well. So, you know, any of my listeners like are struggling in business as well as their personal life, there's usually a reason it goes hand in hand and it's all around your mindset. So that's why we have to do the life skills first and get your heart, mind, soul all together, all calm, all peaceful, but knowledgeable, right? Very much conscious awareness. And then we can get down to the dating skills, the business skills, the parenting skills, and everything else that you want to improve on your whole life area and then they don't go away you've got them forever which is a really beautiful thing yeah oh Ola again I can't thank you enough for sharing your journey with my listeners and just your life and your heart with me you know you, you and I and I, someone else had said this too I don't I think it might have been uh, Tony Robbins or Dean Graciosi like when you work one-on-one -on -one with someone not only are you my clients but you're like family you become like family and friends because we get so close. We, we work through so much difficult transition and, you know, just holding your heart in your space when you need me, you know, and it's just such a beautiful journey. And we even talked about you coaching for me one day, but then your business just took off because I think you'd be amazing as so many of my other graduates would because, you know, you're, you're so excited about who you are now. And we both remember that starting point. So again, thank you for sharing your story and your journey. And I wish you so much love and happiness with your new handsome man, Scott. <laughs> and uh, she shared a picture with me. So I will post that with this podcast. And you keep me posted. Of course, if you need an officiant, you know who to call. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> All right, my love. Thank you so much, Ola. I love and adore you. And keep in touch. I know you will. I know. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Okay, my love angels and transformers, that is all we have time for today. As always, I am here to help educate you in how to create that life that you desire and to attract the love that you deserve. Start today. The time is now. Thank you again for tuning in to another one of our shows, Lessons in Life and Love, with one of our graduates, Ola Carlin, who has so much to teach and so much to share, as all of our graduates do. If you would like to be a guest on this podcast, whether you're one of my graduates or someone who has just heard the show and wants to be a guest to help share the mission of changing the way the world loves, please reach out to me by emailing me at rihannamilne at gmail.com or Talk to me through my website on the pop-up form if you want a session with me. That would be rihannamilne.com. Please do share the link with your friends that you care about to let them get a copy of the show as well. I appreciate you helping me share the mission in changing the way the world loves. Please do take a moment to give me a five-star rating and a comment on the listening platform of your choice, whichever app you listen to, or even on my app, Lessons in Life and Love, on the go, or on my website, LessonsInLifeAndLove.com. New shows are released every Friday in both audio and video format for season two. And don't forget to reach out to me if you need help at any time on my website, rihannamilne.com, to meet with me in private for your own life and love transformation discovery session. It all starts there. As always, love angels and transformers, I am here to help you have that life that you desire and the love that you deserve. Have a beautiful day and a very blessed week. Bye-bye. We want to thank you for joining us on this episode of Lessons in Life and Love with Coach Rihanna Milne. Your personal journey of life and love transformation has only just begun. Go to RihannaMilne.com for more resources. And if you're really ready to take action to improve your life or love situation, apply now for a Life and Love Transformation Discovery Session with Rihanna, a $500 value. Just contact Rihanna with your questions and to tell her your story at RihannaMilne.com. And remember, it's time to have the life you desire and the love you deserve.